tight loose ends Everywhere you go it smells like peppermint Another year without someone's sweater Back to my channel. I'm so excited because like we got the goods. We got raising canes for dinner. I'm so excited because I've been wanting raising canes like really bad lately, and so my uncle's like, I was looking for something to eat, and because we had like a leftover dinner or something that I haven't eaten, and he was like, yeah, I we ate DoorDash or whatever. Do you want something? And I was like, sure. So I got to look and I got raising canes, and I got the drink also. So we got the napkins. Did they really not put a straw in here? There's a ketchup. I don't see no straw. Let's take a look. We're able to grow strong. We gotta give up. Here's what it looks like. I just got text message. I'm gonna go get a straw. I'm gonna eat this, and I'll see you guys later. Again, this is it looks like so damn bomb. It's the six chicken strip one. That's it. It comes with six chicken strips, some bread toast, some French fries, coleslaw, two cane sauces, and a fork, and then a drink. So, yeah. Hey y'all. So it is currently the next day yeah i had canes yesterday so this is the next day it's like way past like after school and stuff it is 6 33 p.m tuesday december 14th um i just got through like not i've just like i was watching tv for a long time i was watching the vampire diaries really good show this is like i don't know like my like my eighth tenth i don't know time watching the show it is so good there's like eight seasons if y'all not have watched it go watch it it is so good it is like so realistic it's not like vampires with like garlic and stuff like it's literally like va the vampire daughters is super realistic and, and none of it like sounds like fake like so i wish that i was in that life in a way but yeah <laughs> Um, you can still see you unbreak I'm breaking out down here some. It's been like that for a while. It's just not wanting to go away. This is the makeup. It's like almost halfway off. I don't know if y'all can tell. But we're about to take it off. And we're going to watch a little bit of YouTube. And then we're going to go take a shower. Um, I just don't know how to put y'all. I don't like how my chair is though with how this is so okay Ooh. Do I need to be like oh I, I hope you guys do not because I'm kind of scared like, y'all okay. like I got my hosted t-shirt I'll show you guys this in a little bit because, like, right now, it's, like, in the way. My name tag. For that. I'm going to be watching some YouTube while I take off my makeup. Whew. Get some light. I love this, like, desk lamp thing like I don't care if I have a bed any now I love the lighting like it just it's so good make sure like I don't say this very often make sure you guys go and follow my Instagram my TikTok I always have them in the description um, below usually and also make sure you subscribe 
to my channel and give it a thumbs up and go subscribe to my vlog channel. Um, I think it's Brianna's, it's Brianna's vlogs. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so pissed off because every time I upload a video, it either, it doesn't like upload. Like, it'll start uploading for like days it will try uploading for like a week or two, and then when I come back to look at it, it'll say can't upload file or whatever. And it only does it on that one. On this one, it's good. But on the other one, it does that, and it gets on my last effing nerves. So, yeah. We're gonna watch the YouTube. In a minute. Okay, so I use I use different ones, but these are just the ones I'm using right now. They're the Clean Beauty Coconut Water Hibiscus Face Wipes. Um, I got these from like a dollar store, and there's 25 wipes in here, and yeah, I don't know. This is, but this is what they look like. little bit of ASMR for you guys. If y'all want my like quick little makeup routine, let me know because I've been doing like a quick little one and I really actually like it. I like it and I wear it every day. It's not something like I can't like complain about or whatever. And I love it. So I'm just getting all my face makeup off with this. Now you can really see my skin. I just wear like a little bit of foundation, not too much, so it's not like how it used to be. Over dinner, I made myself some like reefer beans and I make them with like Taco Bell sauce and then cheese. I think I filmed myself cooking it before, but it's like so effing good. My mom made some that I don't like. She made like meatloaf. I'm sorry, but I just don't like meatloaf. Um, and I was just like, yeah, no. Um, so I decided to make myself for five beans. And I basically put like a Taco Bell sauce. I put the mild Taco Bell sauce in there, mixed in with cheese. And sometimes if we already, if we already have like onions cut up, I'll put that in there too, but we don't hardly ever have them, which is fine because I don't care that much for onions. But it's so good. And then I just like do tortillas on the stove and put it in there like a little wrap. And yeah. That's what I do to make the beans really good. Okay, so for my eye makeup, since I wear waterproof mascara, I just grab a cotton pad. I grab the Garni Micellar Water. I just put like a little bit of... Ooh, I hate when it does that. I just grab a little bit of this. Not too much. Just a little bit and then I also grab some BB oil I literally just have this from like the Dollar Tree I think is where I got it from I've had this for a long time and I just put a little bit on there because I don't know if you knew but BB oil takes off waterproof mascara and I'm gonna start taking that off Let's see. Which video I'm gonna watch? We'll watch. We'll watch something kind of productive. We're not gonna watch a vlogmas. We're gonna watch night routine. If you guys have not heard of Grammarly, then you are truly missing out because Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that helps you communicate with others more clearly and effectively.
guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a night routine for you all no i've done one recently but i genuinely love filming these videos a lot of you enjoy watching them as well so i need to have a very productive night so if you're lacking motivation then you can carry on watching this hopefully it'll give you some as well the time is now 4 50 i got back home at like 3 30 from school spent all this time tidying my room and it got into an absolute state again i can finally start working and just do what I need to do basically. I'm going to take you on a me. So I suppose it says I need to put my hair up because it is annoying me so much. Before I get started on any work, I'm going to put up my mini Christmas tree. I don't know why I haven't put it up earlier to be honest. I've been sat in my room in a box. See, the only issue is I've got all my paper stuff and art stuff on here. I'm not too sure what to do about that. Hmm, here, let's see if it still works. Yay! Looking a bit old and straggly now because we've literally had it for years, but it is still pretty cute. I'm not going to lock some right racket as well as you can probably hear. Yeah, not great, but it's fine. Okay, so the next bit of DIY. DIY, if you could call it that, probably not. My pictures behind me. If you've watched my last video, you have seen I got a whole load more of the prints because these ones are pretty old. Very cute. So, I'm going to exchange some of them. My new ones. I'm going to count how many new ones I've got. Now, I'm going to replace how many I've got here with up there because I know the first time I ordered them, there was more of those. I've ordered 55 of them the more recent time. I'm gonna count how many I have up there and then choose which ones I'm gonna take down. To leave 20 of these up, so then I'm gonna replace with these ones. Okay, now we're onto the fun bit where I literally will have to really check every single one of these, and stick them in my wall, so that'll be fun. photos of it now they've actually shrunk in size the new ones so the old and the new ones are like different sizes but you can't really tell too much i just absolutely love the photos that i've got now i've got a huge pile of all the old ones so i'm just gonna put them in a drawer for now. see you guys so later hi everyone so i don't think or i don't remember ever showing you guys like the little like bit of my bathroom that we got done I know for sure I was talking about them. I don't know if I've actually showed y'all. So basically we got a walk-in shower because we used to have like a Pethabana shower. But it cracked really bad and they sealed it and then it just kept getting worse and worse. So finally we could not use the bathtub for a long time. Which I never hardly used it. I used the other bathroom because it was a lot nicer. And so yeah we got a walk-in shower and I'm so excited. We've had it for a while and I really like it. Let me just put my towel down. But I'm about to take a shower, so I will just want to show you guys our shower and then our products. Um, but um, anyways, this is our shower. Like, it was just cleaned. So, this is what it looks like. We have some products on there. And we just got this new shower head literally, like, a couple weeks ago. And you can take it off and stuff, and it's awesome. So, I'm going to quickly show you guys the products that I use in the shower, or that I'm, I'm about to use. I use, first of all, I use this Not Gleam Cream to wash my face. It is so, so good. I should really invest in it. Um, my body wash. Okay, ew. This is the body wash I use. It is the Johnson's soft and energized body wash refreshes and hydrates for soft and revitalized skin with watermelon and rose aroma it's, i like this one and i also use this body wash it is the dial clean and gentle one and it's fragrance free i use my downstairs area and sometimes i just use it on my body 
when I need to like every once in a while like stay away from the scents. Um, I'm not gonna wash my hair today, but this is the one that I'm using. I'm almost out of. And it's just the Herbal Let Herbal Essence Deep Moisture Hello Hydration one. And then my razor, I'm using this Venus razor. And then I have my little loofah right here. And then to shave my legs, I use this shaving cream. It's the Skin Timid Vanilla Sugar one. And that's everything I need in the shower. I'm not washing my hair, but I am shaving my legs today, so I wanted to show y'all that. But yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and I'll see you guys later. So we're gonna do like a little after shower routine. I'm in a towel, <laughs> by the way. Not the one I did yet. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so clean now. My hair's a little wet, but it's okay. Okay, so first, when I get out of the shower, the, one of the first things I do. Do I look like this? No. One of the first things that I do is I clean my ears. My thumbnail came off trying to turn on the shower, which I'm going to put it on in a little bit. But, is we're going to... I used to not do this. I used to never clean my ears. Don't say anything because I didn't... Like, I mean, I knew, but I didn't want to, like, accidentally hurt myself or something. Like, go too deep. But, now I kind of get the gist. And, yeah, when I first started cleaning my ears, they were so dirty. The first cup like the first few days and now they're just like if they are dirty they're just like a little dirty but usually they come out pretty clean and I kind of just dig it in there but not too far kind of like where it like feels nice like you're itching something it feels nice it's like it has like a little tent on it but that's really it Then we then I clean my piercings. And I just use Walgreens 91% alcohol. And literally my nose literally came out like I was drying my face and I sometimes I forget I have it and then I just you know and it literally almost like fully almost came out. And I pushed it back in and it took me a minute to push back in. So, I'm so excited. I'm going to be able to change it pretty soon. I think I can actually change it this week, but I'm thinking about waiting till Christmas. Because the ones that I do have right now are not that cute. So, I don't know. I'm supposed to be getting some for Christmas, and if I don't, then I'm going to buy some. But I'm pretty sure I am, because my parents have been texting me, like, because they keep forgetting, like, sizes and stuff. Like, my nose doesn't really have a size, but my ear, my, the one I have in my ear right now is a 14 gauge, but, um, I can't find all 14 gauges nowhere. So, you can actually get, like, a 16 or an 18, which is actually smaller, but I cannot find a 14 anywhere, so I think I'm gonna stick with a 16 gauge. An 18 gauge is, like, a baby size, like, yeah. So, I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna do 16. Then with the nose, let's do the ear. So people asking, it, it has like a slight sting when I do my nose now, but maybe because it's almost ready, I don't know. My ear, um, this hurts every once in a while. Like right now, I'm moving it and it's not really hurting, but like there'll be certain times where it'll hurt and give me a bad headache and then other times where it's not. It doesn't hurt as much anymore. When I clean it, it doesn't hardly ever hurt. There might be like a slight sting, but not as bad as when I first got it done. The first couple of weeks were pretty painful. Especially the first like few days of having it. It was pretty like, like I was constantly getting bad like headaches that would never go away. I couldn't sleep on it. And it sucks because this is the side I actually sleep on. But yeah, when I go to sleep, I actually fold it down because it's going to kind of hurt to sleep on the actual earring. So... Um, and then we're going to dip it back in and do the back portion of the ear. I just kind of like try to move the hair out because the hair tries to like come with it. And I just kind of like fold my ear. 
and you can kind of see like y'all can't but I can kind of like see where the earring and the hole is I don't know about y'all but I'm so ready for Christmas break this is my last week of school before Christmas break Okay, we're done, and I kind of just fan it because it feels like it's singing a tiny bit. So, yeah. And we're gonna throw these away. Anyways, here's like the little, if you wanna see what it looks like, here's my nose, here's my ear. It looks red on camera, but it's not, I mean, it's a little red, but it doesn't like hurt or anything. I guess when I just clean it with alcohol, it just turns a little red. But it's. I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna like have y'all like this. So that I can get dressed. I also like to dry my downstairs area again because of the moisture. If I hear a noise, it's either one of two things. I have my ceiling fan on and it makes like a slight noise. Or the bathroom right next to me, like my bathroom's literally like right there. Um, I had the vent fan on because I was in the shower. So that too. That's the right way. Yeah. So since my grandma's here, I don't have to wear a bra. If it was like my uncle or somebody like else like that then I would my little brother's here but like he's not that bad either So basically I just have on this like shirt that I got from my aunt and it's Methodist and these um, I'm sure you've seen in plenty of videos these like extra girl shorts or whatever they are that I love, like, love a lot. And we're going to put some a little bit of deodorant. I'm just going to use the Dove Original Spray. OMG, I'm almost out. There it goes. Okay, I sprayed some. I'm almost out of this one. Ooh. When you have it too close, it kind of stings a little. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of lotion on. I'm going to use the Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle bath from Bath & Body Works. And this one smells so effing good. Okay, and I'm going to put this on my legs because I just shaved them in. I try to do this every time at least when I shave my legs. But there has been times where I didn't, I felt lazy, or I forgot. Ooh, and there's a chunk of hair. I hate when I miss like a chunk of hair when I, when I shave my legs, which I do often. Like miss a chunk of hair. So, I'm gonna moisturize the body. Ooh. I feel kind of productive when I do this. I don't know why. But, and there's a little section of hair on this leg. It's not like a too bad place, but I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I do do my feet. That's what I'm doing. Now we're gonna do a little bit on my arms. I don't shave my arms, but I still like to do a little bit because, you know, you want to keep them arms and them elbows moisturized because you don't want them elbows to be crusty, dusty, crusty, dusty. Man, I love the smell of this lotion. I'm going to use my towel to kind of wipe my hands because... When I put a ply lotion, I, they, it feels like oily on my hands and I don't like it. I'll just say that. I don't like the feeling of my hands like that. Okay. 
Okay. So, I'm about to glue my nails back on. Um, here's my little Hulsa shirt. I'm actually going to wear it Thursday. My, there's a Hulsa meet. It's like a party, but I don't ever go to the meet. But I'm still going to wear the shirt. This is what the shirt looks like. It says, Channel View Hulsa 2021 through 2022 high school. And on the back it says, Believe there is good in the world. So, love this. Love this. Okay. And I got mine in a size extra large. It's like 25% cotton, so this should fit me pretty good. I'm going to wear that Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so we don't have to wear it yet. Um, yeah. Okay, what are we going to do? Oh, I can glue my neck back on. Okay. Got my little nail glue. And I'm going to try to fall. Turn that lamp so you can see. And I'm actually about to eat some dessert. There's like some coconut cream pie and it just sounds so good. I do not like the smell of the nail glue because it's super strong and it gives me like a major, major headache. Like I had done this at school and I hope I didn't give anybody a headache because it surely gave me one. Oh, shoot. Oh, the glue starting to stick to me. Yes, I'm a professional. I'm just joking. It's getting hot in my room now. I opened my door in just a minute. I had a change and stuff. So let's press on it for a while. If you go like back and forth like this, like you go like on the one side and then the other side like this, it makes sure that you get like the sides and the middle to where it sticks on there. But I have to say at first I didn't like the press-ons, but I actually like the press-ons more because these come off easier. Like I don't know why, but they keep coming off easier. I'm going to tell you something just a minute. Let me... Okay, so look, I actually have a package of press-ons that I haven't opened, but I'm going to show you all something. So here are the ones that I do have that I haven't opened yet. They look like this, and they have like the nude color, and then like some glittery nude ones. So basically, these are the um, New Kiss Now with Super Hold Adhesive No Glue Needed Press-On Manicure. Basically, when I did these, I peeled off the tabs, and I also used glue. So these stayed on like for a very long time and I really liked them. So I think I'm going to probably end up be getting the press on ones now. And I always get them in the short length ones. And I think these are actually shorter than the ones I have on and these are in short. Um, I like these nails. They're cute and everything. They're like the, they're the acrylic nude French tip ones. But they come off really easily so if i can like find these and like the press on ones then i'll probably buy those but yeah these are the new set of nails which i'll probably put on like the week of the weekend that i go back to school like after the break so yeah i'm trying to keep these on at least all week all the rest of this week and then then just like let them fall off or i'll just take them off um, it says on here, like, not on these precisely, but on the other nails, like, to soak them. So, I'll probably soak them in, like, some alcohol and water or something, and then take them off. Because it did hurt when I took those ones off before. So, yeah. It is 7.26. I'm going to try a little bit of, like, this real perfume on. It smells so good. It is the Rare Essence Aromatherapy one. It's 100% essential oil perfume and organic jojoba, jojoba oil. And it's rose, it's in like rose geranium. This shit smells so good. Tomorrow is my day. Hooray. 
them. Oh, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna donate some blood. So we're having this blood drive thing at school, and hopefully I can participate in like helping out with it because uh, you have to be in hosted to do that. But I am. Um, I filled out like a thing online for it. But anyways, I'm gonna donate blood because I'm 16. My grandma has to sign the thing, which she is. Um, and I get to donate blood for the first time. So, and I get to know, like, what blood I am. Like, I don't know what blood I am. Because I don't, like, I've never really been, like, in, like, I've been in a hospital, obviously. But, like, I don't, I haven't had accidents or anything. Like, I've never broken any bones. I've never gotten, like, any surgeries done. None of that has ever happened with for me. So, I'm so excited to see like what I get and to help out and save someone's life yeah it just says on the paper how old you have to be you have to be at least 16 to do it um and that you eat a balanced meal the night before you get your blood um taken and also stay hydrated so yeah um, I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but I'm trying not to eat some fast food Thursday. Like, trying not to Thursday night. I'm so excited. But yeah, that is the update for now. I'm gonna go fix my piece of coconut cream pie. And, um, I don't know if I'll see you the rest of the night or not. Because I don't know what time I'm going to bed. Because it's 7.30 right now. So, I love you guys. And if I don't see you later, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Hi, y'all. So I just got home from school, like literally just got home from school. Like it's 2.57. Am I tired? Very much. I'm gonna actually put y'all right here. I am very much so tired because I wore a dress today, right? My thighs were rubbing together the whole time. And every time like they do end up rubbing together like that, they hurt the whole entire day when I walk. And then like, like a few days, like, after it will hurt and it leaves like a rash and it freaking burns uh, like so bad and then i wear heels right they're pretty they are really pretty comfortable well they started hurting my toes they started hurting my big toes and literally i just took the band-aids off and yeah my toes are red and blistered even from the so yeah we're not wearing those to school next time next time we're wearing flats i was gonna bring flats and i was like you know what i think these will be okay they're not as bad as my other heels <sighs> bitch what is wrong with you you didn't anyways here is the fit it's just like plain cute black dress and i like the little detail on the side where it has like the cinching little thing i think it's super cute um my necklace I literally love this necklace, but there's like little knots in it, but it's like that really like thin like chain, so it's hard to get the knots out. See, there's, is that one? No, it's not. I try to hide them. But anyways, cute necklace. Um, necklace was from Zales, I believe. Can't exactly remember. These, I think, are from Palais Royal, and I don't know if it's every Palais Royal, but the one, like the couple of them that I have near me are shut down. Um, this, I just got my ear pierced. I don't really know where it's at. I just got it from, like, you know, where you get my hair pierced. Um, also got my nose pierced. Rings, um, this ring was, like, given to me. It was, like, passed down. This ring's from Amazon. This ring is also from Amazon. This ring is either from Amazon or if it's from, from Wish. I can't really remember. This ring was $10. It's a customized ring. And then uh, this one was 13 And I have no idea how much that one is. And I, uh, yeah, that's all the jewelry. I just wear the same jewelry on a daily basis, to be honest. But it's 3 o'clock. And uh, I like to usually get something to drink and like eat a snack or something like that. So, let's see... My mom is currently out Christmas shopping kind of-ish right now. She's at Burks and she kept, like, I was like, she was texting me make about makeup. And I was like, if you want to, you can send me a picture because it's hard for me to tell her yes, no, if I don't know what it looks like. And yeah, she sent me like a few different palettes and I got to choose one. I, I choose like, there's two regular big matte ones and there's like two glittery good ones. And I was just like, I was like the first glitter one because the first glitter one had nudes and stuff in it. And the second glittery one had like purples and stuff. And I was like, 
I already got a palette like that. I don't need a bunch of bright colors. Yes, I am literally looking for something to eat, and I do not know what to eat. I'm fixing it just like, damn. There's one piece of coconut pot, coconut cream pie left. Huh. We don't got that much to eat in here. What we got? I got my waffles. Let's set this one. We're gonna look at the back. See if there is anything. Sometimes there is. Um. Oh, we got cookie. We got cookie. We have ice cream sandwiches. Ooh, what is this one? Strawberry cheesecake. And then we also have the chocolate chip ones. The big box of the chocolate chip ones. I forgot about these, to be honest. I have, like, these corn dog things that are pancake and sausage. I'm going to eat one of these strawberry shortcake ones because I'm gonna try it so what I want to do today is I want to start which I don't know if I will but it's not a major thing but I want to start on a forever Judah entry so basically in my world history class there's this thing called forever Judah and it's for um extra credit and you, it could be, you can write about whatever you want. Like you write about your life, you can write about what may have happened to you, you can write about anything and then send it off to him in an email. And then, yeah, you can get points. Mm. Okay. Hello. And we get we get a chance like once a week to do this. So I'm passionate and everything, but I still want to. Like I just definitely bring my grade up. I originally had sixty nine or something like that. I was like, wait, what? And he goes, I'm missing two entry tickets and two exit tickets. I was like, oh, so I was absent. So I did those and it brought up to a 75. Which is passing, so. In that title. I took my algebra test yesterday. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm horrible at algebra and I literally, the first, like the last couple of tests we had, I was really bad at, like, I mean, really bad. I got in 20s and stuff and then I got a five. And then on the retest, I got a 20. And it's just so bad. So, my test yesterday, I made a 71, and I have an 80 in her class. And today, I made um, a 71 on my history one. I've never been with a baddie. She comes, so I'll tell you. Tally. Tally. Mm. I'm gonna just... It's no chocolate, so it's just vanilla and some strawberry. But really not good. Let's clear my bed so we can play in it. I have no idea what I'm gonna eat for dinner.
y'all i have like a little story to tell you okay so as y'all know i i think i told y'all i really don't remember but i broke up with my boyfriend it's been like i don't know like a month or so i broke up with him the day after my birthday my birthday was ooh, yeah my oh so it's okay so it's been about a month i'm gonna say i broke up with him november 11th i believe because my birthday's november 10th yeah i broke up with him november 11th and we haven't been together since our 12th no it's november 12th i broke up with him or no it was 11 no, it was it was 11th i'm sorry y'all okay so it's been like one month right now because it's december 15th um what was my point we've been broken up maybe a month maybe not even i'm not sure and tell me why he already has a girlfriend and she's ugly so he's seriously seriously downgraded like my friend was texting me on instagram and then she she was saying like i see him walking with this girl that's like dirty blonde and stuff and i was like really and then she sends me a picture and was talking about him and stuff and like he's being um aggressive like he's literally like purposely bumping into her and stuff and i'm like down i was like i'm sorry girl it's probably because he's just like mad at me or something or he could just be doing that because you're the one that gave him so i broke up with him with a letter because i really didn't want to talk to him uh he don't have a phone so you know i couldn't do it over text message but yeah that's what's going on and he's walking around he's walking this ugly ass girl to her bus every effing day okay and that's what he did with me so he definitely has a new girlfriend and i'm just like really it's barely even been a month if it even has been a month and he's walking around with another girl whatever whatever he has the audacity that she made me fired up i'm wearing this like black Q-Ass dress. I feel so... Okay, this is going to be so weird. But I feel so sexy wearing this dress, to be honest. Like, who would it? It's just a plain black dress, but it is so cute. I ain't never been with a Betty. She calls what? Add it to the telly. Let's come. I still have my nails. They're kind of going strong. I woke up this morning. I moved my blanket and stuff. And I was like still asleep. But I was like I moved the blanket. And then my freaking nail came off. This like it was on this side. It was this one. And I was like really? And I couldn't find it. I was like you know what? Whatever. I went back to sleep. My alarm went off. I can't really. I can't remember if it was my first or second. I have two. So I make sure that I get up. Um, And I was like you know what? I'm just going to let them fall off right? Okay, well, I'll come back into my room after brush my teeth and stuff, and I found it on the floor. So, I was like, okay, I'm gonna glue it back on. So, I don't know if it's because they're, like, they're not the press-ons, or if it's because of my nail glue. I have, like, a Dollar Tree nail glue, but it's, like, a brush-on. And so far, it works pretty good. Like, for, for like, these kind of nails, it works good. But the press-ons stay on, because they have like the press on glue stuff on there that's extra strength or whatever and the plus the nail glue so i think i'm gonna start getting those more often unless i just want these on for like a couple days because these keep coming off but i just i just planned on having these on for this week that's really it um maybe the weekend i have no idea because christmas i'm gonna be we're supposed to be doing some stuff like cleaning um and just doing a little bit of work not too much and then plus opening presents i don't want to have to like be careful because i don't want to break a nail you know so i'll definitely these are definitely gonna be off before saturday because saturday is not this saturday but next saturday is christmas and then sunday there's a game so i'm hoping to go because we only have two more games left like texan games we have one the day after christmas and then we have one i'm guessing the next sunday i forgot but no more about acne. I never been with a baddie. 
she called, so I added to the tally. Send me the Addy. Actually, I want to see something. Y'all gonna see my booby right now. No, y'all gonna see the ceiling. My bad. Let me see if I can go. Come on. It doesn't recognize my face. What's wrong with you? I want to see the school calendar. C V I S D academic calendar. Let's see this. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So look, we have the first, we have the last two weeks of December off. And then like we have, and then January we have the mon Monday off. And then the week continues and oh, what's the 17th? What's the brackets mean? Grade reporting periods. We have then we have a whole week off in February. And we also have a whole week off in March. Um and yeah, let's see. Last last day of school is June the third. Oh, I need to upload a new video. Not upload, but like export it and stuff. Um, I love you guys. I'm gonna see how much like footage I have here, and if it's enough, then love you. See you in the next one, and if not, then I'll see you guys later.